Hi, this is Tim from Latest 3DS Games, back with some more Nintendo 3DS news. This is again from E3 2013, and there's a little bit from Koro Koro Japanese Magazine. So yes, it's all related to Pokemon X and Pokemon Y. And um, yesterday the there was a bit of a round table with Nintendo and developers, and the uh, Game Freak director has revealed some more information. There's a new communication feature. Uh, in Pokemon X and Y and it's called the Player Seer System or PSS. allows players to connect, battle and trade around the world or just locally and um, should be good stuff because that means hopefully the game's not going to be region locked and also there's going to be the Pokemon and me which I explained uh, yesterday where you basically um, can pet um, your Pokemon and um, also feed your Pokemon play mini games etc and it's just a better way to bond with your Pokemon to make them you know perform better in battle and there's been a trailer release just to show that um, I can't show you that for copyright reasons now also revealed uh, Game Freak have announced sky battles and horde encounters for the new Pokemon X and Y so basically sky battles are pretty much what you'd expect um, instead of taking uh, place on the ground they're gonna take place on the sky in the sky so you're going to need to have in your party a Pokemon um, that can basically um, participate in these battles so you're not going to be able to um, obviously use just any old Pokemon now apparently these sky battles are looking very impressive visually in the game and uh, lots of people have got rather excited about them already now also announced horde encounters where you basically only have a single Pokemon and you're going to need to battle against multiple wild Pokemon um, that actually attack you simultaneously. Uh, so basically, you're going to need a pretty strong uh, Pokemon, and um, you're going to need a Pokemon that's going to be able to attack multiple enemies at once. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself on the losing end of a battle. So I'm just going to bring you a little bit of information from a bit of sort of inf that's kind of roughly translated from Koro Koro magazine. Um, a couple of new characters. I haven't got full details, but um, this is what I've got, which is um, a new character named Sana, S-A-N-A. And uh, again, in the trailer, looks uh, to me a little bit sort of butterfly-like. And um, apparently she f appears to follow you into the forest. There's another new character named Pansy. Again, that appears in the trailer with Go Goat, which is a Pokemon you can ride on, and Helioptile. The first gym leader is named uh, Viola and specialises in bug types within Hakodon City. Now, apparently, you're going to begin your journey in Asami Town with three other trainers Sana, Tirunu, and Toraba. And uh, your rival in Pokemon X and Y is known as Callum or Serena. Uh, depending on obviously which gender you've chosen and uh, apparently there's a lion cub pokemon revealed and um, got no english name but it's a fire normal type and uh, apparently knows the move battle cry japanese um name apparently is shishiko the um flower type pokemon um is named japanese in japanese again fura baby which is f-u-r-a-b-e-b-e -E -B -E and is a fairy type and apparently knows the move fairy wind and um, finally we've got Vivulan's pre-evolutions are named Kofu Kimushi and Kufuru uh, I don't know why I put that last bit in because I knew I wouldn't be able to pronounce it that's just a bit of useless information shoveled in at the end it'll all be confirmed hopefully once it gets properly translated but that is the uh, Pokemon X and Y update for you um, mainly like I said from E3 and a little bit from Coro Coro magazine so that's it hope you enjoyed the update more soon thanks for watching